So I'm going to talk about ICM3D, a platform to integrate structures with functions and the genomics. So I'm from the uh, protein side. So actually, actually, we would like to connect with genomics. So we could have a hackathon project in the next few days. Yeah. So here's just one example of the um, 3D viewer showing 3D, 2D, and 1D view for P53. The structure is colored in uh, by IG domains. It detects three IG domains automatically. And the 2D diagram shows the protein in circles, nucleotides in squares, and chemicals in diamond. And the right side shows the sequence and annotations. And if you click all annotations, it highlights all the annotations, all the annotations including conserved domains, binding sites, clean bars, SNPs, and the recent IG domain annotation. So these are the annotations at NCBI and also from Uniprop or UBI. So if the annotation is available, it will show up in the sequence as tracks. And then you can cross compare the uh, different annotations at different residue position. So here I want to show some uh, link from protein to genomics by showing isoforms and exons. So the top line shows the sequence, and then it shows the conserved domain. Then it shows all the isoforms as tracks, and all the exons are showing with or without the 3D coordinates. And if there's structure, you, you click on the exon, then the structure will be highlighted in 3D. So this is the way we can do it right now. And uh, the share link will show you exactly what you created from your previous analysis. So that's one unique thing about ICN 3D. And here shows the recent work on IG domain detection and the reference numbers for IG domains. The left part shows the IG domain of CD8, and each strand is colored differently, uh, specific colors, so you can tell directly from the color which strand it is. And right side shows, the top line shows a sequence, and second line shows the uh, reference number, which is kind of similar to GPCR reference number with the anchor residue, uh, with the last two residue, uh, with last two numbers five zero for the anchor residues and continuous before an update. And then the third line shows the range of the IG domain because sometimes the IG domain is only part of the uh, your structure. With the reference number, we can compare IG IG interactions. Here shows the interaction of uh, IG domains in two structures. Uh, they are kind of similar. So the left panel shows the IG IG interactions, and the top part shows 3D, and the second, the bottom part shows the the two two sets of the residues as lines as nodes in two lines. And the lines between the uh, nodes are interactions. And uh, the color legend is on the right side. The green is hydrogen bond. Gray is the contact. So normally without the reference number, you cannot compare uh, two different IG interactions. But with reference number, we can compare apple with apple. And if we remove the common interactions, the right side shows the the different interactions in these two uh, IG IG interactions. And ICM3 has a lot of alignment feature. One of the features is to align protein complex using VAS plus. Here shows SARS CoV 2 and SARS CoV 1 alignment uh, between the interaction of the ACE2 and the spike protein. The spike protein is on the left part, and ACE2 is on the right part. And right side shows the sequence mapping based on the structure alignment. So the structure alignment is, can also be used as a reference number to compare the interaction. So I, we have the alignment from the previous slide. Here shows the interaction of, between ACE2 and the spike protein in SARS-CoV-2 and SARS-CoV-1. With the residue mapping, we can tell uh, the different inter interactions in SARS-CoV-2 and SARS-CoV-1. So this is also a kind of reference, reference number. 
And ICM3D, you can also open your uh, custom URL. I mentioned the shareable URL, or you, you can open ICM3D in a, a like a VR headset uh, with, for example, Meta browser, and you will see exactly what you see in, uh, in the web browser. Once you enter the VR, if you click enter VR, you will be in the middle of the protein. You can zoom in and out. You can also change color, do selection, or do analysis in VR. So ICM 3D can be used in web browser with a shareable URL. You can try it out. And you can also uh, use Node.js script and Python script to process a list of structures. And it's available in NPM, can be used in Jupyter Notebook, can, it can be used in VR and AR and it can produce uh, files for 3D printing as well. Thank you for your attention.